Hello and welcome to this edition of the Airport News Show, a half hour program about the Jacksonville Aviation Authority. I'm Debbie Jones, Community Relations Administrator. Well, summer's just about here and our program today will be discussing summer camp, specifically aviation summer camp, and two programs that are coming to Jacksonville. And to talk about the first program, Aviation Summer Camp Program, it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Leslie Salzman, who is a flight instructor for the North Florida Flight Training, stationed out at or based out at Craig Airport. Welcome, Leslie. Hi there. Oh, we're so glad that you could be here. And I want, before we talk a little bit about the aviation summer camp that you've got going on out there. Tell me a little bit about North Florida flight training, what it is that you do and things like that. We're a flight school based out of Craig Airport and we offer 141 training um, for students who want to learn how to fly, get their private license, people who want to own their own airplane and just need someone to fly along with them or um, instrument training or commercial or getting your flight instructor rating as well. Well, that sounds like exciting stuff. Do you stay pretty busy teaching people how to fly? We do. We stay very busy, um, especially during summer. We are, a lot of people want to fly during the summer when the weather's really nice and it's a little hot, but it's okay. And you're a flight instructor, she, so mm -hmm. you actually get in there with the students as they're learning how to fly. Yes, I do. What is that like? Um, it's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's as much of a challenge being a flight instructor it is learning how to fly. So, And I know that you, your North Florida just recently acquired another training tool mm -hmm. to help with your flight instruction. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. We just got a Redbird simulator, which is a full motion simulator. We um, use it to help with our training of procedures. It allows students a little cheaper way to fly and to get some of the basics down without actually having the engine running of the airplane. Um, it also gives us the advantage of teaching some things you can't necessarily do in the real airplane emergency situations. We can actually duplicate those in a simulator. And I imagine weather is never a problem when you have a no. simulator. No, it's never an issue. That's the other thing. It's on the afternoons during the summer, it always likes to thunderstorm, so we can come right inside and still do our lesson in the simulator. So. And that's got to be good with consistency with, with people who are learning to fly, that they don't have to miss a lot of time because of weather concerns. Exa it, it is. It's a huge benefit for students. Well, that's exciting stuff. So let's talk about summer camp. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this summer camp? This will be our first year doing the summer camp. Okay. So it's pretty exciting. We're, it's kind of a new thing for us, but um, it's going to be real exciting as far as everybody at Craig Airport is going to be coming out to help us, and we'll be going and visiting everything at Craig Airport, so there's a lot going on with it. So walk us through the summer camp. Is it open? Who it's open to? Well, let's start with that. Who can come to summer camp? All right. It's first through ninth graders. We have various okay. sessions throughout um, the month of July, the last week of June, and the first week of August, um, varying based on your age group. Okay, so how does it work? If you say it's every week beginning the last week of June all mm -hmm. the way through the first week of July. So what would a week look like at the summer camp? Um, it goes through August, so you, it, each session is one week. Okay. Um, the student will, we have an age bracket first through fourth, fifth through seventh, and then eighth and ninth will be together. So based on your age bracket, you would take a look at what weeks are available for your age bracket, and you could come out for that week. Um, it begins on Monday, ends on Friday, and we end it with a discovery flight at the end of it where they actually, we've been working on it all week, we're able to give them the controls, you know, when we get a little high off the ground, about a thousand feet, we'll hand over the controls and allow the student to actually fly the airplane and work on some of the basics of flying. Even the first graders? Even the first graders. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you have a flight instructor in the airplane. Oh, well, it's, yeah. It's okay. Well, still. Um, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it, it's Monday through Friday for mm -hmm. their age bracket that they happen to be. What time of day does the camp run? It begins at 8.30 um, is drop off till 9 a.m. or so. Um, and then it ends up at about 4.30 till 5. It's kind of a, we'll have activities for them during that time. And then it just allows the parents getting off work uh, uh, area of where they can come at you know 430 or 5 whatever is convenient for their work right so. so what would say I have a middle school child what would that that child expect to experience in their week of summer camp well it's we're gonna have a lot of games and videos and activities um, as well as learning how to fly the principles of flight 
planning across country, the traffic pattern, how does the traffic pattern work, um, as well as time in the simulator. They'll be working in the simulator um, about every day with an instructor who will be teaching them some of the basics so that they can understand what they're doing when they're flying and they will actually be a little more comfortable with how everything's happening and as they're doing their discovery flight at the end of the week. We'll have lunch. Um, we'll go visit everything at the airport, the control tower, um, Craig Air Center, Sky Harbor. Um, we're going to have a helicopter pilot there who's going to do a nice little show with his helicopter for us. And they'll have an airline pilot and they'll talk to you about careers in aviation. So we have a lot of different people coming out that week to t help talk about things. So whose idea was this to put together such a wonderful camp? Um, it was mine as well as we had a lady who her son was at a birthday party and she mentioned it and I was like, well, I don't know, it seems like a lot. And she convinced me and so I just went for it and let her know we'll do it and we'll let her know her son know even if it's just her son who's there we'll still put it on and her son can come out and it's so he'll be there <laughs> <laughs> well that that sounds like a really exciting program and it and it seems like it would attract a wa a lot of kids is there an ultimate maximum number that you can accommodate for each of the age brackets um, our cutoff is 14 students mm -hmm. per camp at this point um, Right now, I think that's about what we're going to be able to handle. Next year, we'll look at maybe increasing the numbers, but 14 students is the cutoff. Okay. And what about cost? Is there a cost for this camp? It's $4.95 for the week. Okay. $4.95 per child? Per child. Okay. And does that also include their lunch in uh, yeah, the it, cost? It includes their lunch and everything we're going to do throughout the week. We're going to give them a log book. We're going to give them some, um, the airplane flying handbook as well as some information on flying. Um, they get a t-shirt. We said their lunches, their discovery flight, their simulator sessions, all of that's with a flight instructor. So, so you'll be at the camp, obviously. Yes, every day. So all how, day. <laughs> <laughs> so how many other flight instructors will be involved in this camp? Um, we have at North Florida, we have about five instructors, and they each will be taking part in some way doing something. Um, some of them are going to be doing the discovery flights, as well as there'll be a couple that are doing the simulator sessions. And then we'll have people who are helping with the the education part of it in the classroom explaining you know aviation weather or the cross-country flight planning so everybody will be involved. What I like about it is they'll be able to use some of the skills they might have learned during school with math and science and some of the other things in a real world situation that that they're already excited about because they want to be part of an aviation camp. Yep that is the goal that is our well that's really exciting now how can people get in touch with you or with North Florida Flight Training to find out how to enroll or get more information? They can call North Florida um, or they can visit the website campair.net and there's the registration form as well as all the information. Um, our email address is in there so if they have any questions as well as um, the outline of what we're going to be doing every day. Well, I want to, it just sounds so exciting. I'm just so jealous that I'm too old for this summer camp because it sounds like it would be a whole lot of fun. And your first year, so all the best of luck on your, you. your very first venture into summer camp. I want to go ahead and thank my first guest, Ms. Leslie Salzman, flight instructor at the North Florida Flight Training, talking about the summer aviation camp for the first year out at Craig Airport. Thank you very much, Leslie, for being here. Thank you. Don't go away. When we come back, another summer aviation camp opportunity for your youngsters. After a car accident, Linda Davis needed CPR. Bill Hamilton needed temporary shelter when a fire destroyed his home. During an operation, Haley Reynolds needed a blood transfusion. giving me blood. Thank you for giving me shelter. Thank you for saving my life. Support the Red Cross and change a life, starting with your own. 
Hello and welcome back to the Airport News Show. On today's program, we're talking about aviation summer camps. And on this segment, we've got, it's my pleasure to welcome back a summer camp that's been to Jacksonville before. And so I'll jump right in and introduce the main organizer of last year's camp and this year's camp that I'm excited to talk about, Mr. William C.J. Charlton, who is the Southeast Region Vice President of the Organization of Black Airline Pilots. Welcome back, C.J. Thanks. Thanks for having us back again. And next to him is Mr. Royce Turner, who is the principal of Revolt High School. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here we are again, and we've got a wonderful summer camp that to talk about. And so, CJ, if you could just sort of give a very brief history of how you got involved with Revolt High School and coming here to Jacksonville, bringing this week-long camp. Okay. Um, it was about, little, about 18 months ago, the Revolt Alumni Group, which is pretty much alumnus from the school, they reached out. They were trying to find someone that could help them with their aviation program that they had within the school. Um, the Organization of Black Airline Pilots has been in the business of hosting aviation career enrichment academies for the better part of about the last 10 to 15 years. The collaboration that we proposed to them was not just that we would come in and bring the flying, that we'd also have them reach out to the community to get other partners to come on board so that they could, have a, they could validate the program. Uh, that resulted in us coming down here last year, partnering with Jacksonville Aviation Authority and a few other organizations within the community that we put on a great camp through the course of one week. Kids really didn't know what to expect when we first got there, but all of them wanted to come back after the camp was over. And I think even if you ask Mr. Turner, they thought the camp was very successful for a first time out. And so we've expanded it this year, and we've brought a lot more to the program to add to the effectiveness of it. So um, since you mentioned Revolt, from Revolt's perspective, based on the experience from last <coughs> year and, and what, what the results were, what is your take on the camp last year, and what do you hope to see in the camp this year? I think the camp was very successful uh, for our first year um, during the summer. I envision this year that we will have more students involved and that they will catch fire. This thing, this aviation thing is not just a, an experience for a week. This is something that, that you become committed to. If you encounter the young people who are involved with it, you see a commitment in their eyes. And that's what we want for our students. We want them to catch the aviation bug. And I think this is the perfect vehicle for it. So going back to what students can expect this year that's different from last year, what is the week going to be like? Uh, it's going to be a very dynamic week. We've brought in a lot of instructors. You know, we basically have a lot of pilots from the military and the airline taking time off from their schedules to come volunteer their time to spend with the kids. They will be doing just more than aviation. They'll get exposed to the fire department, unmanned aerial, unmanned aerial vehicles, flight simulators, air traffic control simulators. We are the practical application of a lot of the math and science that they learn in classrooms, i.e. they'll be learning how to do an artillery challenge. They'll learn how to build an an airport. We actually have an exercise called airport construction where we borrow from aspects of math, science, and business to have them construct an airport and basically bring it to a viable functioning <coughs> entity that thrives and makes money to give them a real perspective. And then of course we're going to be doing tours with the Florida Air National Guard, Jacksonville International, Craig Airfield, Florida Community College of Jacksonville has come on board as well as Jacksonville University to provide us a lot of resources to make the camp more enhanced this year. Well, it sounds incredibly exciting. Now, I, I understand that your base of operations, per se, will be at Rebalt yes. High School. Yes. So what will they be doing at Rebalt? During the course of the week at Rebalt, they're really only going to spend about one and a half days there. The first day doing orientation, um, the unmanned aerial vehicles, the remote control vehicles with night vision apparatuses, and then we'll spend the day there doing a lot of the preliminary simulator programs that will lead on to more enhanced programs. We've basically embraced a, embraced a three-tier approach. We give them the tabletop version of it, which they're accustomed to playing Xbox 360 or PS. Then we take them to the larger simulators, which we as adults use. And then from there, we bridge them right on over to the real world. So they'll actually get an opportunity to mic in with air traffic controllers. As with other summer camps, they'll get, their hand, get the chance to try their hand at flying the aircraft that we have flying around. And then ultimately,